here are seven tips for learning programming. I've been a private tutor for two years and I've tutored nothing but uh, programming. I've tutored Python, JavaScript, C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Golang, SQL, et cetera, et cetera. And in this uh, presentation, I want to give you seven tips based on things that I've seen from the dozens of students that I've tutored in how to improve your experience learning programming. This is geared a little bit more towards intermediate programmers, but be there's a lot of tips in here too for uh, beginners as well. I implore you, if you don't understand the code that you're looking at, type it out. Try to avoid copy paste. You're going to start seeing the patterns a lot better. Uh, the students that type things out start to actually learn and they ask more questions. I understand that uh, you're in university, you're probably working and you don't have a whole lot of time and you need to get stuff done. As much as you can, try to type things out. Uh, try not to copy paste. You will actually learn faster if you do this. I really recommend you rice your computer. Uh, what I mean by that, I don't mean to actually put rice in your computer. If you're not familiar with that term, that basically means to make your computer work better. There's a lot of people that their computers are running all these garbage applications in the background, or their desktop is like completely cluttered, or they have like millions of tabs open. They get to their computer and just to like open up an application, it's either really slow or it takes a lot of like, I have to click here, I have to click here or whatever. The easier you can make your computer to use, or the more convenient you can make your computer, the better, right? Try organizing your computer. Try organizing all the tabs in Chrome. Try learning the hotkeys so that you can just like do stuff faster on your computer. Uh, you'll just have such a better experience. You'll have way less mental overhead that you need to do to just like get anything done. Um, try out different IDEs and try out different tools. Try Vim out. <laughs> Try Emacs out. JetBrains has really good code editors, right? Do the free trials for those. You know, VS Code is, is really popular. You, it, try that out. Learn VS Code. Learn how to use the editors. Learn the hotkeys. Learn how to use the terminal, too. The terminal can actually save you a lot of time, and there's so many really powerful commands that can actually get work done really quickly. Oftentimes, too, using a terminal uh, requires less mental overhead. You just literally have to type something in and get it done. You know, the mouse is a great tool, you know, the, but the mouse, the problem with it is that uh, it's not really as productive. It's, it's great because it's made it easier for people to use the computer, but oftentimes to be productive, using the keyboard is, is king. Um, learning the hotkeys, learning how to use the terminal is just, you'll get so much work done faster. I would level up your skills. There's more uh, different skills that you're going to need to learn other than just like learning how to code. The more that you can get better at these, the better. Uh, if you get better at debugging, you'll simply be able to fix your, your bugs faster, right? <laughs> if you learn how to use, for example, like breakpoints or the debugger in your IDE or the debugger in Chrome or whatever, you'll just have such a better experience. When you run into an issue, you're not going to be as stressed out. You're not going to be like, ah, my code doesn't work. What's going on? You'll just have a much better experience. Learn how to research. Uh, in this field, you're often expected to know things even if you don't know them, right? You're expected to be able to figure it out and go to Google and look up documentation. Problem solving will sort of come as you learn programming or just sort of as you get experienced with look seeing a lot of different algorithms and code you'll get better at problem solving deployment is another skill that i put on this list the ability to actually put something in the public eye uh, the ability to have your code run and be stable and not have issues on a different environment often is awesome right that that in itself like when you're in university uh, your code is going to need to work. Like it's going to need to compile. It's going to need to be turned in. Um, when you're in the real world and you're putting something out there, your software product needs to work. Like people are going to, if it's valuable, people are going to rely upon it. Level up your health. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice, but I have personally found that if I get really good sleep, if I exercise and I eat well, I generally code better. So there's been times that I'm working on a problem into the night, three, four hours, 
If I go to sleep and then I wake up the next day, often I solve it. You don't always have that luxury, right? And you often have really strict deadlines when you need to get stuff done. Uh, but the as much as you can, you know, care about your health and your sleep and all that, uh, the better. Another quick piece of advice, uh, if you are just about to start university or a coding boot camp, uh, I would recommend try to learn a little bit of programming stuff before you do so. That does not mean to postpone university. Uh, that does not mean to postpone your boot coding boot camp. If you're going to start in three weeks, you know, please start. Uh, but in those three weeks that you're about to start, like try to learn programming, try to be exposed to it initially try to write some little apps or like a little website or something. Python is a great like first language for a lot of people. If you're doing more web stuff, try to do some HTML and CSS. Uh, look up tutorials on that uh, before you before you start. Uh, again, do not postpone your your course. Uh, but I recommend the students that have been exposed to some programming stuff before just generally do better. Uh, they generally learn a lot faster and they generally just have a better time on the assignments and they sort of say, oh, I've seen this before. Like it, you know, whereas if you're just learning programming, it's, it's actually like the very first time that you learn programming, it's your, your brain is changing the way that it thinks. And if you can do that as much as you can before you start university, like, you know, then do that. Um, build things on your own. Try to put a website out. Try to build a tiny game. Try to build a small command line tool. Uh, build an iOS or Android app. Um, these, you know, these are all four different projects that I think are relatively small in scale. And I think if you haven't done something like this before, I think you'll learn a lot from it. And I think you can get it done relatively quickly. Try to become self-reliant. Try to be able to make some of your own things on your own. Last thing I have for you is uh, this is more of an intermediate kind of uh, piece of advice, but it's to learn multiple languages. And I've put several languages that you can try out on the screen. Try to write a Hello World app in some of these different languages. Try to go beyond a Hello World app in some of these languages. Um, languages are really opinions. So if you're learning something like C Sharp or Java, they're really, really heavy on the object oriented uh, you know, programming. If you go to C or you go to Rust, you're going to be like, where are the classes? I don't understand what's going on. It's going to be a massive paradigm shift, but it's going to be a really good one. You're going to be exposed to a different way of programming, a different perspective. Um, you know, if you learn like JavaScript, for example, taught me a lot about functions. C Sharp was my first language and it was awesome. It's a great language to start with. Uh, my second language was Objective-C, which... Now people use Swift, but Objective-C taught me model view controller and it taught me how to use interfaces better. And so when I went back to C Sharp, I used way more interfaces and I was so much better at using model view controller for things. And you can learn so much from other languages. I've learned data structures from C++. Um, I'm so amazed at how fast I can get something done in Python. Python is so awesome. It You can code something so quickly in Python. It's it's amazing. Uh, I implore you, like try different languages out. It will help you with the languages that you already know. You'll start to expect things from the language. You'll learn about different concepts in computer science. That's it. That's all that I have for you. So thank you so much for uh, watching this presentation. I hope that this helps you and I hope you have a good rest of your day.